So I'm not going to take too much of your time today, but I uh, wanted to make it a bit of a personal speech uh, commemorating the 76 uh, years of Nakba. Um, so this past week I was telling my sister that I was imagining what life would have been if there was no occupation, what life would have been like for me. And uh, I think I definitely would be more Palestinian. <laughs> I would know the olive trees, the beautiful Gaza beach, the Aqsa mosque, the smell of the summer in Haifa. My family and I would harvest the olives. I would tell people I'm from Safad, the north of Palestine, and I would be able to tell them what Safad actually looks like. I would have had a homeland, and when I tell people I'm going home for summer, it would mean Palestine, not Lebanon, not Syria, not Libya, but Palestine. My dad, who's my entire life, I bring him up in all my speeches. <laughs> My dad would have known a home. He wouldn't have grown up um, all his life in different places. My family wouldn't have been torn apart, scattered all over. I would be living with my parents and my siblings in our family home in Palestine. If there was no occupation, I imagine I would be whole. I'm so grateful to be Palestinian. It's truly the biggest honor of my life, my biggest flex, <laughs> my bragging card. When I tell people I'm Palestinian, I am filled with so much pride. <laughs> so on to some good news. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but last week, after 12 years in Ireland, I received approval from my application to become an Irish citizen. <laughs> Get away from me, please. <laughs> so it looks like I might actually get to see Palestine now, hopefully. <laughs> I've, uh, I've thought and dreamed about this day almost every day of my life. My sister and I, we talk about this all the time. <laughs> Uh, but I never actually thought about be that becoming a real possibility. Um, these are tears of happiness, by the way, you know. I might actually get to see my homeland <laughs> with my sister. <laughs> so that is my biggest dream. <laughs> um, these are trees of joys from a girl who might finally get to smell the fresh air of her ancestors' homeland. And the uh, funny thing is that I'm crying so much while talking about it, so I can only imagine how much crying I'll do when I actually get there. <laughs> um, I'm not going to take too much of your time, but I want to close off by saying that my dream was always to see a free Palestine within my lifetime. I never ever thought that was a possible dream. And today I'm standing here and I truly, truly believe that can happen. <laughs> And I'll tell you why. I want to give some thanks. I believe that can happen thanks to all the students. Let's give them a round of applause. I believe that can happen thanks to the Palestinian resistance in all its shapes. I believe that can happen thanks to all of you resisting the occupation by being here today, seven and eight months and 76 years later. And I believe that can happen thanks to the Palestinians who still refuse to leave Gaza, Ramallah, occupied Jerusalem and all the occupied territories. I believe that can happen thanks to the diaspora who have never known Palestine but hold it so close to their hearts, who work towards a return, who never acknowledge any other home aside from the land of Palestine. I saw an Instagram post where somebody was saying that the thing that Israel failed to consider when they expelled 750,000 people 76 years ago was that the grandchildren will be determined to come back. They thought the old will die and the new will forget, but here we are. <laughs> and I will tell you one thing. 
if this, this doesn't happen in my lifetime, I will make sure that my children keep the cause alive. <laughs> I will make sure that the love for Palestine and the right of return runs through their veins. I will make sure that they know we have no home outside of Palestine. Never. Israel thinks that by attempting to ethnically cleanse Gaza and the occupied territories that they will succeed in eliminating the Palestinian people. But I'm glad to inform them that we are 7.5 million Palestinians in the diaspora standing strong. And we are building an army of Palestine supporters. Malcolm X said he has a dream, and I also have a dream, and I know without a shadow of a doubt that my dream will absolutely come true sooner or later. Free Palestine until Palestine is free. <laughs>